Hi, my name is Freedom. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you something that really, really amazing. You see what is this? This is in Paris, the Alpha Tower. So at the beginning, this is from the Google Map. So this is a Google Map. I click the satellite. Where is the Alpha Tower? It's somewhere here. So I zoom it. And here you see a 3D. I click 3D and I grab this 3D model the whole territory I grab it as a 3D file and I import into the icon this is something that really amazing in doing the 3D animation and this is Paris <coughs> So you need to have a few steps in order to import the 3D Google Map into your iClone. Okay, first I'm going to close this and I start everything from beginning. So the first step you need to install the blender you need to get a blender installer from the official website the blender blender.org download so after you download the blender you install your blender and make sure that the blender can work properly this is the first step you have to do Okay, now I close Blender. And how about the second step? The second step, you need to install the render doc. You install from their official website, renderdoc.org. You download and you install the render doc in your computer. <coughs> and the next step, you need to install sorry you need to download the map models importer as a blender plugin so just to download from here the github.com you need this URL just come here and install you download the zip after you download it you all put together here so the Google Chrome so this is the original Google Chrome we need a Google Chrome shortcut that we are going to modify the properties of the shortcut at here so the original Google Chrome we can search at here if you still don't have the Google Chrome you can go and download the Google Chrome you just need to go to google.com let's say if you don't have Google Chrome download Google Chrome Then you can download the Google Chrome from the Google official website. So after everything is complete, at the beginning the Google shortcut is not here. You just need to go to find the Google sh Google Chrome shortcut. So after you, you install the Google Chrome, you type the Google type the Google Chrome at here. <coughs> then here you, you can see the Google Chrome. You just need to right click it right click open file location so now you have a google chrome shortcut you just need to copy this shortcut and paste on your desktop after that you right click the google chrome you see the properties 
So you just copy and paste my shortcut link. It can work. Okay. Now I copy and sorry, not this. <clears throat> this is the shortcut that I created. Okay, I copy for you. So you need to create a Google Chrome shortcut. This is the original shortcut. The original Google Chrome shortcut. So you need to copy and paste another shortcut at here. After that, you right click the copy of the shortcut and click properties here. From behind, you delete everything at here, delete, and make sure you copy my shortcut link, copy, I paste. After that, you click OK. So from this shortcut link, if you double click it, you should see a conversation. You should see this. So I, I demonstrate again. If you successfully create a correct shortcut by using my shortcut link, my shortcut properties, if you double click it, you should be able to see this and it will appear as a white color background before you click OK or you cross it. So after you prepare your shortcut of the Google Chrome, you just need to install the render dot. So this is a fresh installation. I also not yet install the render dot in this computer. So we just have to wait for a while. I click complete installation and I install it. <coughs> okay, finished already. <coughs> and then after that, we need to go to the blender. We install this plugin inside the Blender. So you should come to Edit, Preferences. Here you click Install. You select your desktop. Later you should install this. So I click Desktop. Okay, this file is here. Desktop. Install Add-on. After install, you should see this import export map model importer. Just to click, take it. After that, you can close this window. So, after that, far import here, you should see a Google Map Capture dot RDC. So now everything already finished. You can start to capture your Google Map. So the first step is close everything. First step. We just need to start our render dot. A render dot.
close so this is the first time I open the render doc alright so now all the software you already finished install and you also created your Google Chrome shortcut the specific shortcut that I copy for you just now so now we need to start the render doc after you start your render doc you come to file inject into process and here you just need to type chrome c-h-r-o-m-e and you refresh it after that you need to start your google chrome shortcut that you created just now here you click refresh again and here you select the google chrome gpu you click inject after inject here you click OK so in this in this Google Chrome you should see something that different you can see all these white words with black backgrounds so here you can go to the Google map and start to search the 3D models that you want to capture so Google map the Google map link is the first result so here let's say I want the Alpha Tower now we already come to Paris the Alpha Tower is here you need to click the satellite and view as the satellite view that's the first step now can you see this is a 3D a 3D Google map but now you are viewing in a 2D mode so you see you look at a corner here you have a 3D you just need to click the 3D and now the Paris is in 3D so all these are 3D models we are going to capture you can capture the whole Paris now I just do a demo to capture the Alpha Tower and the surrounding of the Alpha Tower so what you need to do is you come to render dot this one you put aside here at the side and here 5 seconds you choose 5 seconds and you click capture after delay and here you have to do very fast so because it will capture within 5 seconds I click the capture after delay and then I come back to the Google Chrome and I start moving the map so within 5 seconds it will capture 24.87 MB so you are going to save this so here I minimize it so this one I right click sorry I right click save let's say now I save in desktop first as a demo alpha tower Paris okay. this is the file name of the RDC I save it so you have the RDC file and the next step you go to the blender
So at the blender, the first step you have to delete these three objects. I just select to highlight everything. I press delete. I delete everything first. So now you can see the RDC file is here. That is direct capture from render doc. So here, just now you already installed the plugin. So now you, you just need to click file, Im import, Google Map Capture dot RDC. So from here, you choose your desktop, the Alpha Tower Paris. I double click it. After that, I have to wait for a while. Although the system show that not responding, but you don't close it. You just need to be patient and wait for a while. Just be patient and wait for a while. You don't close it. So now it appears already. This is part of the Paris. If I view. Okay, this is Paris. So now in the Blender, you want to export as MVX. I select everything. This is the first step. I select everything. Okay. Select everything. File. Export. FBX. So now as demo, I save it at desktop, desktop, export FBX, I name it Alpha Tower Paris, export FBX. So here you also need to wait for a while until the FBX appear at here. So now once the FBX already appear at here, you already can import into your iClone. iClone. Alright. The iClone is here. So what can I do? Okay. Now the icon is ready. So I can direct drag. I can direct drag the FBX file. Drag into icon and release my mouse. So now, the alpha tower is in my icon. So it is at the bottom. So now I can adjust the pivot. So at the bottom, I click here. So that it, it will be at the bottom. So now I just to click zero out. It will appear at the center of the axis. 
So how are we going to save this? Just check the texture, see whether it is embedded or not. So now the, the texture is embedded, so we can save it. So just need to double click and select it. And we come to here, this one, prop. Then we click custom, prop. So at here, you can just double click. You click add here. This is Alpha Tower Paris. Now I scroll my mouse to near the Alpha Tower. Right click, right click, capture thumbnail. Now this one already saved as a prop, the icon prop. So now I can close everything, start from a fresh template, a new template. I don't want to save anything. And this is a prop that can use repeatedly. So I can direct drag it. You already set as a prop. If you right click, find file. So your file is here. So through this method, you already successfully import the 3D Google Map models into your iClone and export as iProp that can be used anytime. Thank you for watching. If you love my video, you can click like at the bottom and also subscribe my video. I will keep on post more and more special tutorial for you. Thank you.